thought I would do a very quick vlog. This is my second one I've ever done on the channel. Just to give you an update on what's happening with the channel and what's going to happen in the future, etc. But first, I thought it might be a cool idea to start off with something a little bit different. And that is because about five days ago, a new trailer dropped from Rockstar Games for the original Red Dead Redemption game. Now, for ages, us gamers and our uh, Red Dead fans have been so excited about hearing rumours of a possible remaster of something that we've always wanted for the original game. And my expectations of this remaster was maybe it would be done on the with the new engine because they had everything in place after designing red dead 2 uh, in new austin to um remaster it completely um but what we appear to have been given is not a remaster it's from what i can see a clear just normal port from i think the old xbox release and there's no new graphics there's there's nothing there's there's no increased frame rate from what i can tell as well and it's directly to the playstation 4 and switch uh, so i don't have a switch but i can't imagine ever trying to play it on a switch to be honest because they're quite small aren't they i can't imagine trying to play red dead redemption on a switch um but it's yes yeah, literally a simple port from from the original uh, a 13 year old game to the PlayStation 4. It's not even been, uh, the graphics have, have not been changed or altered for PlayStation 5. So I think they're going to be stuck at 30 frames per second. I'm not an expert on, on these matters, but uh, nothing appears to have been changed. And Rockstar, the reason why Red Dead fans are up in arms about this is basically because they're charging $50 for a 13 year old game. And it just seems extortionate, really, that the, the price is just, you know, $20 you can understand, obviously. On the other hand, it is giving new fans of the game an opportunity to play it, where, whereas they couldn't before. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna watch the trailer and, and you can see what I mean about the port but if you look I've, I've got an extension on, on on the Chrome browser that I've got which shows the like to dislike ratio and at the moment it's currently sitting at 38k likes so there's obviously some people who are uh, really looking forward to this compared to 185k dislikes which is a huge amount I mean I think probably in a couple of days that's going to hit 200k I would imagine and that's a clear message to Rockstar that uh, of, of how disappointed the, the, the fans of, of the series are so but let's watch it anyway and then and then I'll speak further after about it and probably during know me so let's make it a bit bigger and then we'll watch it my name is John Marston I mean the music is just like <gasps> Bill Williamson, Javier Esquel. I know one thing, Senor Marston. That music if just gets me every time. Way. But if you look at the graphics, Force there's no difference. It's literally like the original trailer. Where he's cowering. Get him, boys. Your wife and son are doing well. But yeah. you to ensure things stay that way. <laughs> I, they haven't done anything to enhance them. These look exactly the same. Hello again, John. We gotta stop meeting like this. I mean, it is making me really excited. So that's uh, August 17th, and I knew. Oh, Undead Nightmare as well. So you get that for free. That was, that's kind of them to throw that in there. But I, I knew immediately that something was up because, you know, it was only a. a three or four months ago that I started hearing about these rumours of the remaster and then suddenly for, for, for this trailer to drop you know that they haven't put any effort in it. and it's not even Rockstar that are doing it I think they've commissioned somebody else to do it as well this port so they're charging $50 which is is just out outrageous to be honest with you although it does you know like I said the plus side is that it's bringing new players the chance to to experience the original game so there, there is that to it but still um, it shouldn't be that price having said that 
I will probably be one of those idiots that that buy it because I'm just so excited about playing it again uh, and being being able to play it on the channel as well. So that brings brings me nicely into what the plans are for the future. So I do very much intend to to do uh, Red the original Red Dead game. I'm not sure when that will be. I know it's out on August 17th, but I do have other playthroughs that I'm doing at the moment. And with experience, I know that I shouldn't do too much. So I've currently got Days Gone going on at the moment. I've only just started that and I am absolutely loving Days Gone. Uh, so far of what I've seen, I'm, I'm just literally at the tip of the iceberg and the episode that's dropping today, which should be released by the time this vlog's coming out. I've just started seeing the flashbacks about Sarah. I know that and I've been told that the game is very long and so I know that there's going to be so much more to it and I'm going to be doing this for quite some time. I, I want to finish off the uh, Death Stranding uh, series that I've got going. I think I'm almost at an end to that one so that's when it will tie in nicely with, with this game coming out. Now Red Dead Redemption what I intend to do is actually stream it and I've tried to stream in the past and, and it went horribly wrong and that's because I have no idea what I'm doing I don't know I've, ne I've never streamed on Twitch or apparently there's a kick as well now which is quite new I've never done any of that sort of streaming so I've no idea how to set up my recording software etc to be able to handle streaming and recording and playing you know live but i have been fiddling and tweaking and i think i've worked out what i was where i was going wrong so prior to me streaming red dead redemption i will probably do some test ones to see if i'm correct in the reasons why i was going wrong so i will do that and what i intend to do because it's playstation 4 i've just got a brand new playstation 5 which i'm excited about and what i will try and do is maybe remote play because i don't have a mechanism or a webcam for my playstation 5 so i'll do a remote play it's a little bit jittery but it's not that bad do a remote play to to, to be able to stream it so that is my intention so look out for maybe my test runs in advance which will probably be just me playing on red dead 2 in chapter 2 running about and and doing stuff on arthur just to see how it goes and just reminisce because i miss red dead 2. so yeah uh other games fort solace is coming out as well and but i i apparently that's only a quite a short game and and i use the word game loosely because apparently i've heard it's more of a walking simulator than actually a game which is probably right up my street so I don't have to actually think or shoot things and get things very wrong <laughs> but I don't know I don't know anything about it I know it's like spacey you know it's in the space somewhere but I don't know anything about it but the and the only reason why I'm kind of looking forward to it is because it's got Roger Clark in it obviously who played Arthur Morgan and Troy Baker who's been like literally in every single game ever so uh yeah i plan to do that one because that that won't take too long as well so i'll slip that one in somewhere other games like witcher uh i've still got on my to-do list uh maybe god of war as well uh if you've got any other ideas of other games that you you'd like to see me try or think i it would probably be, be something that i would like then please do let me know um as long as it doesn't have anything with souls in the title <laughs> Because I don't think I'm going to like any of those sort of games. I have tried Bloodborne. My son-in-law made me try Bloodborne and probably was laughing and dying inside when, when, <laughs> when I was attempting to do it. I just couldn't get on with it. I didn't like it. So a anything like that, like maybe Elden Ring as well. He, he made me try Elden Ring and, and I was like, no, I'm not having any of this. Uh, but any other games you think I might like? then then feel free to let me know in the comments and finally the the guides as well i don't always want to do just red dead 2 guides but when i if i get really get into a, another game where i feel like i've got a contribution to to help others then i will start making um guides for for other games as well but if you've got uh, specifically about red dead 2 if you've got ideas that you want me to make a video on that maybe you haven't seen something uh, or, or, or someone explain of how to do something in Red Dead 2 please do let me know as well if you've got any other ideas I'm more than happy to explore that and, and see if that's something that I could make a video on 
Uh, I do have my own ideas. I'm, I'm going to carry on with the Idiot's Guide, which, which I think is going really well and really helpful. Um, so I will always be looking for shortcuts and ways, ways to help you guys on, on Red Dead 2 and for especially for newer players. I've got uh, plans to do one on how to use Dead Eye properly and uh, how to look at your cores and maintain your cores, etc. as well. I think that's a, a really good one for new players. But uh, that's it. Um, I have hit uh, 500 subs now. So thank you to all those that have subbed to me. And, and I will see you in the next guide or the next playthrough that I do. Thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking around. And I'll see you next time. Bye.